In this video, we're going to use JavaScript to add in search capabilities into our HTML table. You'll notice as I add data into the search form that we are actually going to be filtering the data down below and it also works when I remove the elements. So it's responding to key up events. So I'm going to quickly cover what I've built out in the template so far and get you up to speed on that code and we'll start from there. So if you're watching this video as a part of the mini series I made, you'll be familiar with most of this code, but I'll recap it from the top down just to make sure anybody starting fresh understands this. So we are using jQuery here. So we have this link and we are also using Bootstrap for our styling. And one of the new things I added in from the mini series is this input field. So the code here, this is just a wrapper for that, but we have this input field that we're gonna be typing in what we wanna search and it has the ID of search input. So we'll, re we'll be responding to this ID and adding an event handler to that. And down here, we just have this table and our rows are being added into this wrapper right here. So it has the ID of my table. And down here, we just have this array of objects with a name, age, and a birth date for each item. And we have this build table function. So I'll just recap this and then we'll start building in the actual functionality. So. Uh, this table basically grabs that uh, this little wrapper right here and we first clear it. So the reason why we're clearing this is as we respond to key ups, we're actually going to be building out a new table. So this function will be called on every single uh, change in that input field. And then we just loop through and we build this table row and we simply just add it into the table right here. So we just append it. And that's as simple as, or that's all we have for the code right now. It's actually very easy to follow along. So you could just use the source code and the link provided in the description, um, or it's pretty easy to follow along, just build this out. So uh, we'll get started with this. So I just wanna show you what we have so far. And this is the actual version we're working on. And as we type in data here, we are not actually gonna be responding to anything. So the first thing I wanna do is add a key up event that responds to those uh, inputs and consoles the data out. So let's go ahead and do that first. And I'll add the key up event just above this build table function. And we called that search input. So we're just gonna use jQuery for this and grab it by the ID and add our event handler. So key up. And let's grab the value of what's actually in here. So I'll just set this variable to value and we'll just say this.val. And now let's console this out and see if everything's working right. So as we're typing, the data is actually being consoled out. So we know the event handler is working and we're able to grab the value. So now what we wanna do is build out a search function that will basically filter our data and create a new array and then call that build table function each time and pass it in that uh, trim down array. So we wanna make a copy of this. We don't actually wanna edit this. We wanna make a copy of it and throw the new value in here. So that build table function takes in just an array of objects. So we'll just call that in here and I'll just do this right now and comment that out. And I'll pass in the value of data in there and the search function will actually return its value to data. So at this point, I'm gonna leave that there. I probably should comment that out so we don't get an error and build out that search function. So let's just call the search function, uh, I'll just call it search table. So let's create our new one. And it's simply gonna return uh, a new data point here, a new array. So we'll just say data equals, and we'll set that to an empty array. So what we're gonna do is loop through our array and add in every single value that contains whatever that input is. So search table will actually take in the value. So it's gonna take in this value right here and it's also gonna take in the array. So 
Um, let's actually change this to filtered data because I don't want there to be a conflict in the name. And we'll call this data and we'll return filtered data actually. So there we go. So let's start writing out that loop. Okay, so the first thing we want to do in this loop is change, uh, we want to change everything to lowercase. So we don't want that, we don't want uh, case sensitive keywords to or letters to be affected. So if we start typing something out here with a, a lowercase m, we need this to still find Michael right here. So we need it to respond. So let's just grab the value and set it to value dot and then go to use a two lowercase function here. So that will just grab whatever value we have in there and change it to a lowercase value. And now we can, now we want to grab the name that we're going to be filtering it by. So name is going to be equal to data. Just grab the name value. And at this point, we're only going to allow this field, this form to search by the name. So it's not going to filter across all the table fields just yet. So let's grab the name and change that to lowercase too. And at this point, here's where we write our conditional. So, so if the if the name includes, use the includes function. So if the name includes the value, so if we start typing, um, if we start typing in M, it's gonna look for every single value here that contains an M. So Tim would respond, and Mila and Michael would be in that field. So normally you'd want to do like a start with uh, function basically it would only say if uh, the first input field starts with M but at this point we just want to search anything that has those values so if the name includes whatever value we have so that's going to be each letter as we type it in and uh, a whole string at some point whenever we fill it all the way in we're gonna say filter data and we're just gonna append it so we're gonna use JavaScript the push method here we're gonna push data and just push that object to that array. And we just return it here. So let's let's remove that and let's grab the search table function. So we're just gonna return that new array. So that new array is gonna be data here. So search table and let's pass in the value and this, uh, this array to work with here. And then we can call that build table function. So this should do it. Let's go ahead and test this. Okay, so Michael, M, I, and C. Perfect, and as we go back, it's working perfectly. So let me just recap the code real quick. Um, that table, so what's happening is, again, on every single key up event, we are filtering the data and building calling the build table function and the reason why you're seeing that table actually rebuild properly when we're uh, removing inputs is because we are actually clearing that table each time so this table gets completely rebuilt each time so thank you for watching this video i hope you found it helpful um, if you want to see more content like this make sure you're subscribed to my channel and give me feedback i'd love to see how i can improve my videos and make better content for you